Have you ever asked yourself what is the meaning of life? How many times have you tried to find an answer to it? We all do it at some point in our lives, but do we really need to seek for it? What if I say to you that there is no such thing at all? That this question is stupid. I'm not going to tell you that everything is completely pointless, because it is not. But yes indeed, we can't find an absolute answer to it. When whoever tries to convince you in the opposite, in 9 times out of 10 there will be manipulators or bastards or both. Well, at least most of the time. Have some examples. If you ask some religious cultist, they will give you a strict defined reply that you have to serve the creator and that you have to obey the rules from the holy script. If you ask some ideological freaks, they will end up in a different response, but in the same category. They will try to tell you that something unjust happened, either to classes, or to nations, or whatever they use to create base for resentment. They will also use an opportunity to recommend their crappy books. For example, communists may want you to follow the path of Karl Marx, which he outlined in his book Das Kapital. If you ask some influencers, you will find something different, but at the same time, it will be close to what I just mentioned. Well, in case of the influencers, the main goal is not to convert you to something, but to sell you their junk literature and get your money. But anyway, they are still extremely dangerous. This list could be expanded furthermore. The actual result differs from person to person, but I think that you've got the idea. There is something that unites them all. They want you to do what they need, not what you want to do. With that in mind, the conclusion is that you certainly don't have to listen to anyone. If you follow this advice, you will prevent any possible negative results. You are the one who seeks for the answer, and you are the one who finds it. There should be no one in between. Of course, you can use something to help you but the actual decision should be taken only by you. Now, as I said, there is no absolute explanation to the question what is the meaning of life. Let's imagine that you have found out some sort of an answer that suits you. In this case, it doesn't mean that you have discovered the actual answer. In some cases, people tend to call the actions that they made as the answer. It works as the justification to them. But in reality, the real answer stays hidden. What I want to say is that we can't physically find it. People in general can't. Neither can you. Nor can I. Speaking about myself. What I've got for myself as the answer for this question is that you just need to stick to what you like, for what you have passion. That's what people call the purpose. My own interpretation of this is that you just have to do what you're willing to do, what you can do and what you like. It will make you happy in the most cases, or at least you will feel yourself satisfied some point. If what you are doing helps the other people, it will be even better if you are willing to help the people in general. If not, that's also fine. You just have to entertain yourself until your end or as far as you live. Because it is your primarily biological target. I also have another suggestion for you to follow your desires. By having your own things to do, the others will be more interested in you as an individual. They will have something that they may use as a common ground to communicate with you. 
I've seen a lot of people who haven't found a way in this universe. They've been not the most interesting people to interact with, to say the least. So, why wouldn't you just want the others to be interested in you, in addition? This is the moment when you have to stop from going any further. First and foremost, you will not find anything useful to yourself, because, I can assume, you have already done it several times before. In my opinion, it is simply stupid to seek another answer to this. Your time would be spent to nothing and you would obtain nothing new. Don't do it. Just enjoy yourself. But what if I don't want to do anything? What if I have nothing to fill the gap? Well, I would say don't do anything then. You have a position when you desire nothing, I would say that's fine. Everyone has something to do, whenever they want it or not. You will always have something. For instance, when you want nothing in your life, you still have a desire. But this desire is to not desire anything. Is that enough? Well, here is another one. When a person wishes nothing else but to fulfill their biological needs, that's a desire to simply exist. Not much of a thing, don't you think so? The same could be said about the desire to stop being. I mean, literally. Here, you will have a desire to end everything. I can't say that it is normal for people, but I allow it to be added here, just because. So, my point is that even if you have nothing special in mind, that something that you constantly want is gonna be your desire. I'd say that you better have to find something instead of that, but that's your life. And now, let me conclude. There is no defined answer to this ever-existing question. If we are talking about our own perception, the result is always the same. We always have a desire to do something. Even if the desire itself means to desire nothing. So don't waste your precious time looking for the answer. Just do something already. But if you enjoy querying the dump, who am I to stop you? The question what is the meaning of life is not self-sufficient in my view. It doesn't really worth it. If I ever encounter the question what is the meaning of life, my answer would be Shut up. If you don't want to make yourself stupid, don't ask this question in a decent public space. Or do it. I don't care really if it is what you want.